Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do a video showing you how you can mount the uh, wall mount for a Dyson vacuum cordless with uh, double-sided tape. And see, it's sturdy; it's not going anywhere. So obviously, I already have it put on because there was a lot of trial and error, and I didn't want to record me just trying to figure it out. And I can't really take it back off now. At least not without making a mess. So I took some pictures and I can just inform you how I did it. And here's the method that I used. Uh, I used shims. I don't have two by fours or sheets of plywood laying around that I don't want to go buy a big piece just to use a little bit. And another video I saw, you uh, would get a whole piece of wood or two by four and glue it on. Well, I didn't like the idea of gluing it because it would make a mess. And this, there really isn't too much you could glue aside from here. If I would do that, I'd probably just screw it to the board and then get like a uh, rotary tool or something and cut those screws to protrude after the piece of wood out. But I didn't want to do that. And then you wouldn't be able to remove the cord as easily if you needed to. So since this is hollow and it's recessed in, you can't just put the double-sided tape on it. So you have to do something to fill the gap. And that's where I used the shims. And uh, you can't really see it with that edge. It's almost flush with just two pieces and then double-sided tape holding the shims onto that. And uh, I didn't do the greatest job because I was just kind of doing it real quick as a trial to see what happens. But that's the only two pictures I have. But I think it's kind of self-explanatory. So how I do this, I usually make all kinds of things out of these. You have to, they're wedged, so you have to use two together. And I use super glue. I'm sure wood glue would work better, but it takes longer to, you'd have to clamp it and let it sit. So you just hold it for about 30 seconds of super glue, and we're not holding more than like five pounds, so it was fine for the job. Then I got the 3M tape and taped this. I noticed this, this tape's really good, but it doesn't adhere to wood very well, especially like this more porous type. So I put super glue on the, the tape on the side that would hit the wood but the side that was on the back of the mount, I just use this because it holds and I don't want it to be permanent. You could always rip it, who would care if, you know, super glue on this, this can be disposable. And then I had to put it on this side and I put it on a few spots extra on the uh, wall mount, which I'll show when I go back out there. And I had to cut it down. I have this little bitch boy hacksaw and I get you're saying, why well, use that type of language? Well simply because this video is not for kids, so don't come after me FTC. I mean, this is a really cheap way to do it, but maybe $2 for those, and then they always have some super glue. And this stuff's great to use for anything, so. I've never had anything that, that wouldn't hold up, and I wasn't expecting to hold a lot, but uh, it's about five pounds. And again, only putting the tape on that one side, it was still very stable, so I was quite impressed with how it turned out. Uh, I did notice, since this is very soft plastic, you can see how flexible it is. I did add, there's not much here, there's just a wee little lip that maybe goes that far. So only that's much as making contact. That's just, there's, it's hollow here. But just that little bit on both sides is enough to keep this from wanting to, because this whole thing would cause this to twist. And I didn't fasten it here so you can see how there is some wiggle, as long as you pull this out the way it's designed and don't be twisting it to the sides. It's only adhered, because you saw how that shim was only on this side. But, ideally you don't knock everything over when you do it, but it holds nicely. And for removal, I was thinking something like one of uh, these. And maybe you'd want to trickle some goo gone. It wouldn't be as clean as taking out a screw, but I didn't really want to drill when you can use these when they work just as well. So there you go. Hopefully that gives you an idea. Uh, you can. There's really no need for specifics. You can kind of just use that to come up with your own design if you can find something better. But it is possible to do, and it works well. So thanks for watching, and see me in the next one.